surgery scars they them albino black pansexual fat vitiligo surely this will sell our game long haired developer thinks he's a dame used to be dark but now you're clefairy big titty phobic fear of dairy so inclusive heckin valid you do not win friends with salad we're o sexual gender mancer inject the woke metastasize cancer gaslight tourist adjust the angle triggered by women while your balls dangle it's not for you don't like don't buy smashing advice i think i might try dustborn concord tales of the shire communist hrdei higher deep throat the barrel and tongue that trigger i know men with titties bigger shave your head bald now your uncle fester kyle rock the mic hello Ooh, beta testers <laughs> like and subscribe if you appreciate me trying to entertain while informing i should be taking a break but out of duty to my patrons and contributors i have to quickly cover dragon age veil guard's top surgery scar customization because as usual big breasts and buttocks are not acceptable or valid and therefore not represented, but anyone with an issue with that is probably just a bigot who hates inclusion. So say if the entities triggered by titty with different definitions of everything. On stream, I used this image of Aloy from Horizon <laughs> to describe what brand damage for Sony PlayStation looks like. If the rumors are to be believed, Concord could potentially have lost Sony 400,000 dollars the fact that you can't be sure that the image on the right is fake is the problem frankly i'm not sure the objective belief among men when looking at most of these games that cater to the modern audience is that they can definitely do better than this so much like the shills upset that i'm telling the truth and carrying your sentiment beta tester people are forced to ask why I've been highlighting and underlining the reason why, and now I'm seeing videos of the T off the LGB saying how wonderfully inclusive it is that corporation excluded customization for the majority in favor of signaling to the minority. I said that Rowling back then was more in your camp than most people who will never view people born with a dick and balls as a biological woman because no gaslight guilt trip was going to invalidate science for them. Dragon Age quite simply used to be dark, tactical, and this incarnation is neither. Dragon Age in name only. Developers in interviews can't remember the characters, and quite frankly, that is not why they were hired. They were hired to push the damn message. Entities working on this project previously worked on The Sims, where they also injected that top scar surgery EA shine, so, you know, representation is really all about calling something, something else. Okay? It's not about representing what you want, it's about what they want you to want. Kind of how the games journalists report what they want the news to be. They'll say something's controversial when it's not. When there is a controversy, they downplay that. It's not the reason that you think it is. Oh, it's actually this. Oh. And you find your echo chamber full of people who think exactly like them and they get their backpacks and they make them feel good. Then they make a difference. But the difference that we perceive will be in profit because I won't spend a cent on this and neither should you. I've embraced villain status, demonetization, pronoun harassment for my endeavors, people trying to contact my people. These entities can't go a minute without trying to make whatever they're involved with about them, and it has molded me and you into something different. Again, like, subscribe, donate, do whatever you can so we can give back as I thank Nerdaholic once again for sending the brand new Alienware computer, you know? Uh, I'm getting a lot of apologies from shills as well, but again, I, what do I care for those that are not on biological lady titties? So, in the interest of injecting levity, I have prepared a comedy portion of this video for your enjoyment. <clears throat> I rose my monitor up as high as it goes, and now it thinks it's better than me. This concludes the mandated levity injection. I'm sure people think I love highlighting people who've demonstrated hatred for the games that they're working on, but I don't. That's 
othering. And I leave that kind of tantrum throwing to born a man entities who end up editor in chief of publications that they name the gamer. Now that people see the certain entities that are so narcissistic that they couldn't possibly manage not injecting hyper specific interests into everything that they do, we're forced to explore that this programming conditioning propaganda is deliberate and paradoxically excludes more than it includes i can summarize so much by making one thing clear that i probably don't say enough i have trans friends they pass and they are hated by the majority of the trans entities they know and if you look they're not hard to find hypocrisy never is Shill Defense Force assembled and the go-to argument for these cucks is What's the big deal? What, you don't like customization? Uh, to which we can offer the same question, you know, you have post-op top surgery scars in a fantasy world, you know, what large breasts? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, you goo gooner! Woke entities will cheer for alphabet representation but ignore the downgrades targeting females, no matter how hard a pattern we can illustrate. The developers are triggered by a big-breasted woman, but celebration is in order because I feel they have topped, conceptually, the modern audience game of all time, Concord. Maybe not financially if this $400 million number is to be believed, but Dragon Age Veilgard somehow topped. Old lady, fat, black, pierced nose, dark lipstick, LGBTQ+, plus, and politically tagged game by they, them developers who consider you talentless freaks and professional uglifiers who think you'll be running out of games to play. My channel as of late has unfortunately been dedicated to showing, not telling people, how this lazy pandering and virtue signaling rears itself in gaming. I'm fine with whatever you think of me. I just need you to trust me when I say in this scenario this needs to be cast into the fire they say a broken clock is right twice a day I feel like a broken clock that exists in a time where a very vocal group doesn't know how to tell time with this kind of clock, so they've gaslit themselves into believing their made-up way of reading it, which is great within their little bubble, their little group. For this to matter outside of their group, they'd need to convince or sway the majority that this is the real new way to read the clock and they can't. So before this analogy gets away from me, even further beta tester i believe you and i know what time it is you'll never know how endlessly delightful it is to hear whitey tell me i don't know what i'm talking about when it comes to all of this pandering boy get that hand out your ass <laughs> beta testers patrons sponsors it's just gonna get funnier isn't it I believe this Concord development deserves its own video. Should I just get to recording that now? Unbelievable. I love you. Please like this video. Let's really, uh, let's ruffle some more feathers because apparently talking about video games when it comes to the truth is something that's got them uh, employing tactics like it's a Star Wars show, the most important thing in the world. How dare they make their opinions known that get popular? Why are they getting popular? You ever ask questions like that? Jesus Christ, baby. Oh my God, fucking pubes in your mouth. Oh, fuck me.